Hey Eurovision fam, it's Alicia. And Sean. Okay, today we're gonna talk about Eurovision 2017's theme, celebrating diversity. Of course we can't really talk about this theme without talking about the big elephant in the room, which is Russia. I could talk about this, but of course, why would I do that when I've got Sean here? So Sean, you talk to the folks about why this is very important to you and why I'm actually in this moment saying, take it away. Julia, beautiful girl, phenomenal singer. And uh, this was really important to me and really moving to me because I have a disability as well. So I was born with cerebral palsy, born three months early, Big fiasco, very dramatic, right? They're like, oh my God, he's not gonna make it. And I was <laughs> like, bitch, what are you talking about? I'm right here. Okay. Um, but I said all that to say, like, there, I've lived with this expectation of that, that everything that I do because I have a disability makes me like exceptional, right? So growing up, I was in choir, I was singing, and they're like, oh my God, he's so good. <laughs> despite having a disability. And I'm like, mm, I'd be good without, with, like, I'm just as good with the disability as I am without the disability. Right. So I think this was really great um, for Russia to kind of hold true to the theme, but I really long for the day when every something different that makes them diverse and people just say, okay, great. Like, it, it doesn't make headlines because that is the new normal mm -hmm. that we have people from diverse backgrounds who are headlining and making the news every single day. You know, a lot of people have been kind of coming for Russia because there's just always people coming for Russia. And I'm not gonna lie. Look, we know Russia's right. anti-LGBT laws are an issue. Right. Um, it definitely struck a chord with a lot of the Eurovision fan base because there's a lot of queer folks who love the song contest. So Russia has been not in the best position um, they've been getting booed. So what do you say to some folks who are like, well, Russia's just doing this because they don't want to get booed anymore? Well, first of all, we just have to be honest and yeah, part of that's true, right? Part of it is they're tired of getting booed, they're tired of getting their name ran through the mud. Uh, but then also, it's a start, right? Yeah, yeah. And I think yeah. the more that we celebrate these starts, the more that they'll realize, okay, we don't need to just be doing this for show. We need to be doing this because it's the right thing to do. Not only does it make good sense for us as a business or as an industry to to listen to the people, our consumers, and to the constituents, right? But it just makes good sense because that's reflective of who we are as a country. So, like, I think people have the power to kind of set the pace and the tone of what the expectation is. And so, yeah, they, they have this new diversity thing and they're going with it because... They want their ratings to improve, but also because I think they're waking up and saying, I guess we're late to the program and we better get with it. I mean, and, and I have to say, you know, some people being so surprised about this. I mean, she did compete on the X Factor right. in Russia. This so it's not, not like some girl random. they picked up off the they street. They were like, oh, you, you, <laughs> you come on. No, and yeah. she's talented and she can yeah. sing. So let's yeah. not act like they yeah. just picked somebody in a wheelchair. They found... Um, someone who's extremely talented that people already know. And she's know. beautiful. Yes. Look, I, she's gorgeous. Right. This is not this is not some straggler on the street that they just went. Yeah. Yeah. You. 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 <laughs> Come on, help yeah. us out. Like. You sing. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. she's been on TV, so right. it's and most Eurovision acts do come from shows like The Voice, mm -hmm. like X Factor, like Idol. So in theory, she's sort of in that same class of folks that they would already pick from. Yeah, she's qualified. Yeah. So the theme is celebrating diversity, and of course it can't just be about Russia because that's our theme for Eurovision 2017. Mm -hmm. But I gotta say this, look, so it's it's all about celebrating diversity, but we basically have like three white guys hosting. Wah, wah, wah. You know, and I've, I brought this up on social media and a lot of folks have said, well, you know, normally we have women hosting for Eurovision. So in theory, 
this is us getting diverse. <laughs> and I, I'm sorry, I just cannot accept that. Like I just, as a like queer woman of color in the communications media industry, I just point blank, I cannot accept that. Like right. next thing we know, we're gonna have like men picketing so that they can be a real housewife. Like come the fuck on. Like, <laughs> can I just flat out say, white men do not equal diversity ever. 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 Never ever. Ever. So. Sorry. Not sorry. Let's look at like the vast majority of contestants that we have. I mean, this year we have San Marino is a duet with Valentina Mineta and this guy that's black. And he's from mm. the States. So we got him. Right. Then we have Isaiah from Australia. He's obviously a person of color. Um. Is that it? Maybe they meant diversity. Maybe they had a shorter search period. So that's just not gonna happen this year, I guess. Yeah, no. All in all, I think that this theme for Eurovision, it's a nice theme to have. I think most of the themes are a little bit more aspirational. Mm -hmm. You know, last year we had come together and this year it's pretty specific. I mean, this is a pretty pointed theme you know, celebrate diversity. And I don't know if that's completely being done this year, completely. Right. I, I don't know. I I am I might still be looking for some of that diversity personally. Yeah. Um, but maybe this is a theme that will carry on into Eurovision 2018. <laughs> Talk to us in the comments below. Team Julia. So that's it for us. Bye. Bye.